Hello, this is Tyler Schindel uh, doing our signature assignment presentation on Virtue Visit for BU 503. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for the course and hope you enjoy my presentation on Virtue Visit, a new way to showcase your facility. So what Virtue, Vi what Virtue Visit is, it's virtual tours, but bigger. So it's similar to what you would see in real estate where uh, clients are able to access a portfolio online, being able to walk through the property. Uh, when they're interested in buying a home. However, what this does is it creates a digital twin of any property. So we thought to take this to the next level and use it for large ticket sales, such as event venues, wineries, colleges, golf courses. So sales teams are using this uh, technology over and over again, getting a more consistent uh, return on investment than they would with real estate, where as you scan the property one time, once you sell that house, the um, scan is essentially worthless. So with this, uh, sales teams are able to consistently market the same space over again and give um, client, potential clients a better um, aspect of what the space actually is. So that is the uh, basis behind the virtual tour. Features within our technology is a video call. So it's a guided tour. If I was pitching a client across the country, I could send them a link and essentially walk them through the entire property as if they were on site instead of having them just look through photos and trying to get a sense of the space that way. Uh, so this is really cool for us to be able to uh, best showcase the space as well as a measurement tool, which is really good for um, event planners where they can measure out different things such as uh, dance floors and like big event halls or uh, photo booths, stuff like that, where they can see how much space they have and get an exact, Replica instead of just looking at a, a blueprint. Uh, customizations, we can put in photos um, as well as like video links to better advertise the space as well as when you're working with clients, say you have a big event for Sony or PlayStation that you want to showcase, you can uh, customize different photos around the space of um, Sony putting in their logo and stuff. So it's very customizable. And downloadable images is if an event set up very nice, you can go around a screenshot any one of the tour images and use it to update your portfolio. Leadership. Um, I'll be leading this company from a space of servant leadership. I really want to make sure the employees know that um, I'm in it as much as they are. So I want to make sure I'm serving them as well as um, leading the company in a good way. Um, so uh, one way to do that is to ensure employees feel heard, valued, and appreciated because if they feel like they're a part of the team, they're better off to um, really work hard for you and want your product to succeed as much as they feel it's their product as well. So that's kind of a big way we want to lead the company as well as developing skilled workers um, equals trustworthy delegation. So if I understand there's a big client coming into town, I can delegate the work off um, very easily and I know that's going to be done very well. And then lastly, just leading by example. So similar things as being like the first one to the office, last to leave. Um, still working on the uh, ground level of the company. So scanning new properties, working with clients instead of just pushing everything off. So really showing that you're committed. Uh, ethics, as we're running the company, we're gonna make sure there's uh, clear communication, which leads to strong client relationships. So really being sure all of our features are being communicated clearly. So the client knows exactly what they're getting when they're working with us, not just you know, scanning the company, send it, or scanning the venue, sending it off. So it's just a couple links that they have to kind of figure out themselves. Whereas if we're able to communicate clearly with the client, um, they know what they're going to expect and there's not going to be any sense of like false advertising or anything like that. Uh, just leading into the ethical marketing efforts, it's kind of the same thing I just touched on. We're making sure we're advertising correctly as to what our service can actually provide and not over or under advertising so the client has a clear understanding of what we are actually doing to increase their marketing and sales effort. Um, company code of conduct, that would just be assembling a group of ethical uh, conducts that we made with the customer, sorry, with the other employees in the business. So they understand exactly what uh, we expect of them and they can put their input in. So everything, everyone's on the same page of what is expected of all the different employees as well as leadership qualities. Um, so just make sure everyone's on the same page with that. And then lastly, just rewarding ethical behavior um, to ensure that everyone is on the same page and doing what they can to be a good employee. 
uh, SWOT analysis, strength would be very early to the industry. Uh, although this is like super developed in real estate and stuff like that, no one's really doing it to the level of uh, event venue sales, golf course membership sales, uh, winery tour sales. Like the larger ticket items are very, uh, the market's very big there. So being early to the industry is, is a benefit for us, as well as the exciting features such as the measurement tools and the video call allows for a lot of um, potential in getting into the industry early and then showcasing what we can do compared to other companies. Uh, weaknesses would be trying to establish market share in this new industry because people have been operating group sales in the same way for a long time. So it's um, they kind of feel like they have their sense of, of how they do things. So trying to break into that um, workflow in a sense, you could say in sales process is going to be difficult as well as just getting in front of the right people as a young company trying to get in front of director of sales, uh, director of marketing, superintendents, all that kind of stuff can be pretty difficult. So uh, you got to make sure you're being persistent on that end. Uh, opportunity would be safety and security aspects. So as much as these scans of the building and virtual tours provide like a marketing and sales benefit, there's also the safety and security because it's almost operates as like a, uh, interactive blueprint. So I'm um, sending this off to give police fire SWAT teams a better understanding of the buildings that they're working with in emergency response situations, instead of just looking at a blueprint can be very beneficial. And I will touch on that a little bit later on here. And then lastly, threats, uh, the market's pretty easy to enter because, um, all that is needed is really a, a 3d virtual or 3d, uh, camera. So the uh, barrier is low cost entry, so anyone can really buy a camera and start this this company for themselves. So uh, that would be correct. Five years strategic plan would be years one and two, building a strong foundation and establishing market share. So, so that would be from shifting to from small projects such as like real estate scans, stuff like that, into the higher ticket items like event venues, wineries, golf courses, hotels, resorts, that kind of stuff where the uh, client is able to reuse the scan over and over again um, will help us get established as well as uh, make like gain more capital for ourselves. Um, and then building a loyal customer base. So going around to different uh, established clients and saying, hey, we can you know give you a free tour uh, just to like showcase our ability. And then if they like it, we can kind of get into more of a pay structure from there, but offering like being prepared to offer our services for free to low cost and then, in, and then essentially getting more into um, a paid structure. Um, and then also focusing on community engagement. So like sponsoring local sports teams or like attending different community events, uh, to really get our name out there in the uh, community can be really beneficial. Uh, years three to four would be diversification and brand expansion. So innovating new features. Like I was saying, we have the video call and the measurement tool that can be super helpful for our clients to use with their clients. So innovating new features that will help separate us from um, the rest of the competition because such an easier uh, industry to enter. We got to make sure we're staying ahead of um, the new companies that are trying to establish more market share. And then also offering stage venues at a discounted rate. So if we're working with different event venues, wedding venues, um, coming in and rescanning their property in different setups uh, will allow them to better showcase their space and also create more capital opportunity for us as we're able to continue working with the same clients. And then thirdly would be expand to college recruiting. And that would be um, scanning different college athletic facilities and then having the coach or having the coach be able to send off their venues to recruits around the country instead of having people fly in to get an entire sense of the space. They could send off the link or do the video call and walk uh, a potential recruit through their facilities um, is very beneficial. And then once again, just gives us a more brand expansion. So. And then lastly, just touching on safety and security. This is just very beneficial as um, entering the fifth year, I think it, it opens up a whole new, excuse me, a whole new space for us as we're able to work with like high populated areas such as shopping malls, schools, churches, um, 
just like where there's going to be a, a mass amount of people at one time. So if there was ever an emergency um, and there was a response group going to the space, instead of looking at a blueprint and trying to figure out where the doors, what does the setup look like? It's just, you know, a kind of a pencil on paper, I guess you could say, is they could have an interactive map on either an iPad or a laptop and could click into any um, part of the tour and they would be able to see a full um, design of the room. So it could be very beneficial in the long run for that. And then we would also supply the fire police, SWAT, and dispatch centers with the safety map. So it could be a super um, integrated part of their emergency response system.